Hello everyone and welcome to Fableheim and another tale in Total War Three Kingdoms A World Betray. We will begin a campaign for the other poster character, Sun Sa, whose playstyle is actually kind of the exact opposite of Liu Bu, but we'll be talking about that very soon. As always, this first episode is going to be a combination of our series beginner and a guide for everything that you need to know to play Sun Sa. But of course, we'll get into that after the introduction. If you are just interested in that, there will be a timestamp down below and in the description for you to zoom right ahead to that. But first things first, let's get through this introduction. Since uh, the Little Conqueror has a starting situation of heart, he is, of course, a vanguard, nice and red. And his faction effects is that he gets plus 100% charge bonus for cavalry and plus 15% melee damage for all shot cav. Yes, I love me some shot cav. And they're going to get a lot of play in this faction. I mean, they always get a lot of play here, but more than usual. His faction specialization is Reckless Luck. Grants extreme speed on the campaign, ambition slow depletion and grants bonuses, unique ministerial positions and faction effects, and unique court actions. We'll get into that in depth in the guide portion of the video. His playstyle focuses characters in expansion, which is what I mean by the total opposite of Lobu's one-man army type playstyle. His unique features is the Tiger Guards, the Handmade Guard. These are his two new units that came with a world betrayed. They both specialize in protecting nearby generals, and we're going to see a lot of both of them, I hope, ideally. Of course, just like his father, he has the mercenary archers, mercenary infantry, and mercenary cavalry. They're basically like better versions of default stuff. And he has the mercenary outposts, which grants income and commerce and replenishment, and grants access to mercenaries, which I think are the full retinue mercenary things. Maybe. I actually have never played Sin Jung, but we'll find out. His noteworthy characters, of which there are many more. Zhou Yu, his best friend and melodic strategist. Huang Gai, the unreadable warrior and incredible strategist in his own right. Chong Pu, the bandit killer. And of course, his fellow brother, Sun Shen, the emerald-eyed administrator. And his faction heir, fun fact. As always, we are playing on romance, because that's a lot of fun. And we're playing on very hard campaign and very hard battle difficulty. No advisor help. Don't need that. I've never played with any other time of the day besides default. Uh, that's okay. And with that, China must be united. All sons are born in the shadow of their fathers. <laughs> But the day will always come when they must stand alone and are faced with a choice. Do they follow the path put before them? Or take a different road? When, sir, since the death of your father, you have steered the fate of your family with a calm hand. But the storm of chaos grows stronger still. We have found safety under Yuan Shu, but his incompetence and lust for power will lead him to ruin. We must disentangle ourselves before he drags us down too. And still, 
After so many years, I long to avenge my father's death. And so you shall. But first you must find land to call your own, free of Yuan Shu's yoke. You will find such land to the south of the Yangtze. Liu Yao governs there, but he is newly appointed and untested. He could be the ideal foe to prove my might as I secure the Southlands. Just so, yet another threat looms. They speak of a bandit known as the White Tiger, who prowls in the south as well. He will not rest idly as you encroach upon his domain. Another foe? No matter. I will best them all. The faith of the Sun family has fallen to me. My father's legacy is mine, and with honeyed word or sharpened blade, I will see it thrive. And thrive it shall, a quest for revenge. That's a lot of text, but I will explain what all of it means very soon. Our first quest is, of course, to capture and occupy a settlement belonging to the faction of Liu Kong. This, your father's generals return to serve you. You Shu supplies and growing might. Some good bonuses there. Act quickly. Now, I'm just going to take this real quick to get this quest over with. We don't actually need to fight it. So we're just going to delegate him. Because there will be some replenishment here as we sit and wait. But welcome restored. to the guide portion of the video. A fine settlement. We'll take it. Where we destroy Liu Kong on orders of Yuan Shu. And we get this quest. Wu Jing calls for help against Liu Yao. An old friend returns with his army. We get some treasury and Yuan Shu supplies. Now there is actually two kind of different ways to start off the Sun Tzu campaign, which is a cute hail back to the Sun Jian campaign, where you can either give Liu Biao the Imperial Jade Seal, and you'll have like the easiest campaign start of your life if you do that. Or you can tell Liu Biao to go away, and you'll have a slightly more challenging campaign starting position. Sun Tzu kind of has the same thing. Here's the Imperial Jade Seal. We're going to equip it because we are here for the legacy of Wu. And uh, we're going to fight the world. We're going to fight the world. I'm going to pick up Zeal because Zeal is the best. But okay. Sun Tzu. Now Sun Tzu's main mechanic is Reckless Luck. Sun Tzu, of course, was quite young when he passed away. I believe he was 25. When he passed away in the year 200. Pretty exact. And so, to demonstrate his uh, often forward nature, he gains bonuses as he's lucky. As he gets slightly less lucky, he will these bonuses will begin to deteriorate. You can see we lose 10 per turn, and I think that's true no matter where you are. Yes, you can offset that by completing his Legacy of Wu objectives, which are very similar to the Greatest Warrior objectives of Liu Bu. Just less about killing people and more about doing things. But we begin with Reckless Luck Divine Favor. Plus 40% campaign map movement range, minus 15% radio upkeep, plus 15 military supplies, and minus 10 Reckless Luck per turn. You might be wondering, what happens if you run out of luck? I'm glad you asked. You die. Yep, you die. Sun Tzu dies. And then Sun Chuan becomes the... Well, you'd get a... A regent, right? I think Lady Wu becomes regent. I actually don't know if you if you run out of reckless luck and die. Will Sun Xuan start with zero reckless luck or will reckless luck just go away? I don't know. But that was a spoiler alert looking at the court. <laughs> but uh, as it says, the way I offset this is by completing the legacy of Wu. Now to even begin the legacy of Wu, you need... Which one is it? Actually, maybe you just begin it. Maybe not. But have no vassal master is one of the road to emperorship things. And you have multiple opportunities to turn against you, Anshu. Multiple. We're going to take the earliest one. Slight spoiler alert. Uh, which will happen next turn. But because of that, I highly, highly recommend making your first and only trade agreement with the Han Empire. Of course, Yuan Shu will give you the most money, but if you rebel against him, bad things happen. So, 
We are going to talk to Huang Fu Song. We could marry our mother to him, but that sounds terrible. <laughs> we'll talk to Huang Fu Song, and I don't think I can actually get anything out of this because it's so very early. Like, will you give me like five per turn? He won't even do that. Look at that. This is rude. Whatever. We'll just take the trade with Huang Fu Song. And, uh. Yes, the court. The court, the court, the court. You can see that Sun Tzu has quite the expanded court compared to other generals, and that's because the court and his characters play an incredibly important role. Then one of those things is sharing expertise. There is a way to check, and I'm trying to remember how to do it. But you gather expertise as Sun Tzu and your generals gain ranks. And then you can share this expertise with people of your court, and you'll give them a ton of experience. It's usually one full level, and sometimes it's more. Which is nice. It will not be long before Sinsa has raised a very... Can you give it to yourself? It looks like you can, but it won't increase. Because part of the reason for doing this is to increase the relationship to make them happier. As you can see, Huang Gai, our unreadable warrior, is currently not very happy. Hello, it's me from the future. Later on in the episode, I actually read the text that's in front of me that mentions the level of the court member that takes this position matters. At level 3, the effect of the court position will kick in. At level 5, and then later at level 8, it is replicated. So it actually becomes quite important that you continue to share your expertise through with all of members taking up important court positions so that you can get the most out of Sinsa's varied courts. Additionally, the shared expertise counter is in the upper left next to Sensa's portrait when you're looking at the campaign map. Okay, back to me talking. I'm actually going to make him Grand Commandant because that sounds like something Huang Gai would do. A poor mother. She's just hanging out. But yes, your, important, your big court is something to keep an eye on. And sharing expertise with the generals you plan on using in combat will be nice. And of course, generals are upset with you because, yeah, we left the Chancellor slot open because of a friend that will soon be joining us. Soon. And that's when we will call the council. But there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. Ah, uh, yes. The reforms. Now, he's kind of split on his reform path. He has two in the blue and three in the red, although he didn't go very far down this. As always, 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 I recommend rushing toward the replenishment. Replenishment is always good. It's never not good. I do also like, uh, in my one experimentation here, I went over towards this way once I got a small city just to have a free administrator. But I think replenishment is where we're going to go today because we have a lot of fighting in our future. And is that everything? I believe that is everything. So the legacy woo, the main takeaway here, Make sure you keep, you keep generating reckless luck. You can do that, of course, by completing your various Legacy of Wu objectives. And uh, something we'll find out very soon. And another thing is that characters are very important in Sinsa's campaign. Well, a lot of the Legacy of Wu things have to do with it. Like, I have a rank 4 Vanguard Sentinel that's over 40 years old. We're actually very close to this. Because Cheng Pu and Huang Gai are two, these two things and over 40. And then, of course, there's one where you have rank for people who are younger and are not Sunsa. <laughs> and yeah, there are actually quite a few of these. And then capturing various locations. You can also unlock... Where is it? There are a few, char a few of these that give you special characters, such as the Zhang brothers, who actually had quite the... quite the role in the Wu. These are the specific character ones. Sun Chuan, Zhou Yu... Sunsa and Lady Sun. Lady Sun. That's supposed to be Lady Wu. With 160 or more. Wow. Okay. But yeah. You get the gist. Those are important. Continue to share expertise. Level everyone up. Because leveling is nice. And. One more thing. About. Declaring yourself independent. Now, it's the start of the game. Technically, only one turn has passed. So, technically, 
you have just entered into your agreements with Yuan Shu. And you know what happens whenever you break an agreement, right? You become slightly untrustworthy. And here's where that comes in. His father's son, Yuan Shu, is willing to allow your father's former generals to join you in a campaign against Liu Yao. This is Huang Gai, Cheng Pu, and soon to be Zhou Yu. In return, he asks that you give him the Imperial Seal, which you inherited from your father. Remember the Imperial Seal? Sun Jian found it. I don't remember where. Zhangdong, maybe? Sun Jian found it, and it used to be, well, the Imperial Seal. The Emperor would use it to seal official documents. So Yuan Shu wants it because he thinks it gives him some form of legitimacy, which is basically the entire goal of Yuan Shu's existence. And you can either give it to him, which happened in real life. I don't remember why, though. Anyway, somehow Yuan Shu got it. Or you can keep it. Uh, because uh, it's not yours to give. Your father found it. This will, of course, cause vassal independence, which I think means you go immediately to war with Yuan Shu. He'll obviously dislike you a lot, but you will get the pressing your luck. This gives you plus five reckless luck per turn for 20 turns, which gives you quite the buffer room to unlock more. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to declare independence turn one. Turn two. Turn two. <laughs> Because the legacy of Wu is ours to claim. Your father's legacy is not yours to give. Let any take this seal from you themselves, if they dare. Now, you might remember our quest to go over here. This quest, it's aborted now, because uh, he was also Yuan Shu's vassal. But the old friend that returned to this army is uh, right here. It's Zhou Yu, Sun Sa's oldest friend, and now only ally. So, we're going to go ahead and give him a retinue full of archers, because that's what he deserves. Uh, we'll give him two of those. Leaves wilt and, fall, but will be reborn and then again. militia, because we want to get rid of this or that. We'll combine the armies next turn when Zhou Yu can move and make him general. And then we will cross, go across against Liu Yao because that is what Zhou Yu recommends. That was it for the guide portion. Remember, if you don't want to have this ridiculously challenging start and be uh, treacherous, whoops, go ahead and give Yuan Shu the Imperial Seal. You will eventually have to turn against Yuan Shu, or maybe he'll eventually turn against you. Whatever. But you can play the story as you wish. However, for us... Our legacy, our father's legacy, is ours and ours alone. If you were here just for the guide portion, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed and that you now know everything you need to know about playing Sun Tzu. For the rest of you, hi. Let's have some fun, shall we? Now, as I mentioned, we're going to go straight across the Yangtze because if we stay here, uh, we're going to meet someone unfriendly. Yuan Shu becomes quite aggressive with you when you uh, turn your back on him. Shocker. And I did test this a few times to see what would be the most immediate course of action. Liu Yao hired... Oh, that's awkward. The legacy of Wu. So because we have no Vassal Master, we have permanent plus two reckless luck per turn. Nice. Oh, wait, no, that's if we get all of these. Never mind. Not nice. Well, less nice. You, you get I it. Answer, my lord. Now, Sun Tzu, as the commander, has three morale and two morale when attacking. Zhou Yu, as commander, has range firing rate. What do you wish, my lord? I wish for you to lead and get me the heck out of here. Like, as fast as possible. We don't actually have military passing with the Han Empire, so we're just going to go this way. And replenish. For harmony. Now, we aren't actually at war with Yan Baihu. Believe it or not. We're just at like a temporary war. Ooh, the Great Blade. Pretty sure you already have something really Wisdom good though. Guide. It's mostly good. Anything else? That doesn't affect you and you don't need this. Well. The, the thing about the Imperial Jade Seal. It's awesome. Ten authority means more satisfaction for our entire faction. Which is nice. It gives even more satisfaction on top of that. And you get morale when defending. 
it's not like the greatest ancillary for a vanguard such as Sunsa, but it does help out with satisfaction. Which just become a bit of a thing while we're pressing our luck, we'll say. We're already out of military supplies. Sounds how has declared war on Liu Chong. Hmm. That's kicking off already. Liu Bei already formed a coalition with Kong Rong. And Zheng Zheng has become a mercenary. Which, I mean, is not that surprising. Another black thoroughbred. Wow, our military supplies are so low. Oh no, we're gaining them. Should I wait here one more turn then? Maybe, so I don't suffer attrition. Now, I do kind of want to take this, but I won't be able to, so... We're going to sit here, I think, one more turn. Marching. Fully replenish, pick up some supplies, and uh, go from there. Now, as for our tree, as I mentioned, replenishment, replenishment, replenishment. So, we probably want to go this way. Wow, these all suck. <laughs> I mean, this gives me caltrops. That's cool, I guess. Your army has low supply, our army is gaining supplies, and then we will attack. I'm curious to see where Liu Yao's gonna go, though. Wait, what? No. You think way too highly of yourself, Sam Tom. Which, honestly, fits his personality quite well. Go. Ah, Liu Yao's gonna defend his fishing ports. That's fair. He sees me coming, and he's scared. Liu Bu has already been destroyed. And already fled to Liu Bei. Wow. Now, I don't want to be in the river. But I do want to get over here. The waves will carry us. Somehow I'm gaining military supplies here, but that's fine. Which means I didn't need to sit in my territory, but I am fully replenished now. And hopefully they'll come attack me. That's a bug, right? Yeah, okay. I was about to say, there's no way he's av available. Ooh, we have Sots. Grand Tutor. Who shall our Grand Tutor be, hmm? Lady Wu probably makes a fine Grand Tutor. The effects of students as ministers depend on their rank. Oh. Oh. I should have mentioned that. Hello. If you're still here. Hi, hi. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> the effects of ministers are based on their rank. At rank 3, the minister positions are applied. At 5 and then 8, the effects are improved. If you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Sorry that, um, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Better late than never, as they say. And let's invoke our council, as I said I would. Overpopulation. I like how all of them are to build some administrator, except for Huang Guy. Huang Guy wants us to move to somewhere we aren't moving to. Sounds very much like Huang Guy. Liu Bei would like a lot of stuff for a non-aggression pact. Huh. I guess that's why sharing expertise is so important, huh? That would make sense. Coalition becomes a military alliance. There is division in the capital. Oh, there's shared expertise. This has been all sorts of all over the place, huh? We have 84. Hmm. I kind of want to level Sunsa. That sounds like a thing I should do. My fire is rekindled. Rekindled. He's now rank five. Cool. <laughs> we, we probably won't charge bonus on retinue. That'll bring us to bloody fury. Still a black thing there. We're fine. Okay, here we go. It is worth remembering that Zhou Yu is awesome and can do this. Now, I have to keep in mind, something that was throwing me off like crazy when I was doing my testing was that, um, oh, we captured him. He is concerned, enigmatic, and stalwart. Not bad traits, but we're going to release you for money. Release them. We, uh, we no are not Lu Bu, for China. which of course means we don't, we can't like take somebody and then continue pressing onwards. I am going to starve them out to war! because, uh, Liu Yao and Tai Shi Sir are both quite, quite remarkable combatants. Liu Fan, me. We have earned the title Earth Dragon. Cool. 
We don't have any tiles at the moment, do we? We don't need them. I don't think so. I mean, Sin says Little Conqueror, but he's always Little Conqueror. Nice. Okay. A mountain needs no trinkets to be grandiose, nor crowns to be imperial. Not a bad saying. Why do they want so much for a non-aggression pact? I'm confused. Alright, here we go. Time to fight. Bring everyone in. It will do you no good. Let us fight for it. Your words are calming, brother. To the battle, then. Yes. Do not lecture me on war. Draw your swords. I kind of hope that, um... I can get the Chia sisters. I don't know why I needed that moment to think of what the words were, but... Oh. I believe in our tiny little... Our front line is tiny, but it is mighty. <laughs> It'll be fine. We definitely want these to be in guard mode. I think... This should be fine. Ooh, he's all alone. Enemy reinforcements are arriving. Let's go crush him. He's not moving. Isn't that bizarre? Shouldn't he be moving? Tried to like come at him from two directions. It seems like it was the, the wise idea. <laughs> what Get wrecked. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Well, that was easy. <laughs> now we now we definitely want to get back to position. You guys can just come up here. Okay. And I'll see you when these two get their stuff together. I saw these like a singular this like the singular arrow shot coming in. I'm like, what is shooting me? Uh, it turns out Liu Yao had a bow. Which makes sense. We stole his bow in the Lu Bu campaign. It's a pretty good bow, just not for strategists. It is not a strategist bow. Right. No matter the cost, I will see you Aww, defeated. they're burning my tower down. It's Stop very rude. My time. The good news, though, is that I have gotten in and around on their archers. The ready. Move out quickly. So that was nice. I think Zhou Yu can just like, oh, no, don't shoot him. Don't fight him. I need you to slip around and go there. Yes. I'm trying to get my cavalry in and around. The enemy unit flees. What coward! Do not I don't actually know how this will go. You will fall. Uh, so I dueled him. From what I remember, Taishi Sud did not have much success when I've used him as a duelist. So I'm going to rely on that. And I can spam that. So. I can also bring Zhou Yu around to make it so I can spam Get it more Kill them. Take if I want. I think I'm winning. <laughs> That's not Look, really a vote of confidence. But Taishi a, has a terrible weapon, so we should be fine. I hope. Again, very confident here. Only confidence allowed. Let's see if I can hunt down Liu Yao. Kind of doubt it, but... Oh yeah, we've won this. Sorry, Taishi, sir. But you are outmatched. What's his title again? Like something of dexterous agility? Boy. Creature. Your flags are in the way. A comrade is being attacked. What? Oop, I caught the kill. The enemy general falls. Ha! Oh, Liu Yao's here. Uh sure. That might be dumb. A duel has started. Our general must win. 
I like how he got back on his horse just in time for the jousting bit. The jousts have begun. Zhou Yu continues to chase him down. Remember Liu Yao being... Oh, he has tenacity of steel. Which means I kind of need to finish this sooner rather than later. Keep up, friend. Keep up. Very funny. Perhaps focus on battle. Good hit, good hit, good hit. What are we at now? Still 10%? Zhou Yu, have you killed that thing yet? No. Nope. Not yet. It looks like Sinsa's about to win, though. Hopefully we can capture uh, Taishi Sir. That would be nice. I know the history episode is next episode, but Taishi Sir does eventually join Sinsa. Fun fact. The enemy general falls. I put it into overdrive. What? No more fight. Good job, Sinsa. We'll go ahead and claim this victory. It was just a close victory, but Liu Yao and Taishi Sir were both bested. The mercenary units are pretty strong. Like, if we have the funds, I want all mercenary units. They lacked a coherent strategy. We captured Shi Yi, who is kind hearted, cheerful, and graceful. Me. Release them! We have no use for them. We have no use for them. We don't. Oh. Did they attack me again? That was bizarre. Planning, we lost two. Wow. It was probably a cavalry unit that got shot or something. Keeping them is a waste of our resources. Mine. When drawing a Li Ying has vassalized the Han Empire. Oh. Which of course has brought peace. The puppet Han Emperor is captured by Dong Separatists. We have a foothold in the Yangtze. If alive. Lu Fan joins your court. Lu Fan has quite the history. Impressing the two Zhangs. Zhou Yu tells you that in order to capture the Southlands, you will need to have the two Zhangs. These men, allegedly, have a talent to chart the course of heaven and earth. Although they are currently living in obscurity, hoping to elude the chaos consuming the realm, they may be convinced to aid you, should you sufficiently impress them. Guess what I'm going to try and do? <laughs> yep. Sufficiently impress them. Take from Liu Yao what you need. If alive, Tai Shi Se joins her court. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And Zindu. If alive, Liu Meng joins her court. The legacy of Wu. To capture all of Zindu. That rhymes. Okay. This happened before, too. Zhang Hong is willing to join my court. But I'm pretty sure he's a spy from Wang Lang. Because he just joins my court anyway, right? Zhang Hong, Zhang Zhao. So I think I'm going to pass on that. Because I can't afford it. Now I also kind of want to go into Po Yang because Po Yang can become very quickly a powerhouse for income. And I don't feel strong enough to go after Junior. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I just go there now. <laughs> Who's this? Zhu Gong? You know, actually going... <laughs> Again, the history lessons next time, but going this way is actually kind of historically accurate. I wonder if Yan Bai who's going to come grace me with his presence. And Shen Zheng wants a bunch of stuff for a non-aggression pact. No! I don't even know you! <laughs> I do know her, of course. But she's so far away. She's like right off the Yellow River right now. And we're at the Yangtze. That's very far away. Yuan Zhao's commanded their vassal to join a war. We lost the town. Lu Bu declared... <laughs> Sudden but inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. Do I go for it? Sure. 
I can go this far in the water? Wow. That's pretty far. I feel bold. We're bold. With the wind. I feel very bold. Our reckless luck is running out, but that plus 40% campaign map movement range this is nice. Nice. My court is about to get really big, though, and I don't know if I like that. It's fine, right? Wait, is that Lou Fun? Oh, yeah, duh, he joined us. Now, Lou Fun. There was Lou. I keep. I usually mix up the two Lou Fun and Lou Mong. If I remember correctly, Lu Mong is the one that succeeds Zhou Yu as Grand Commandant or whatever he was. I can fight this. I mean, you have a lot of units, but I can fight this. Maybe I can't. Overconfidence. Is a slow and insidious killer. Wise and considered strategy will give us countless victories. I believe. <laughs> I believe. That's all that matters. I will burn the hearts from these savages. Whoa. We aren't fighting the Shan Yue yet. Shots fired. I like how this already has snow on it, even though I deployed it like two seconds ago. Now they are attacking us, so I plan on taking a, an incredibly defensive position. And it is snowing, so cavalry might have a bit of a harder time than usual, but that's okay. Make it rain fire down upon them. Now I don't think we're going to be able to capture anyone out like we did last time. That was cool. I can't even see where they are. So, uh, we'll just wait. More! Enemy reinforcements are arriving! It took the AI a long time to figure out what they were doing. Like, they just, like, kind of sat there for a while. It was very concerning, actually. I'm kind of hoping that my cavalry can kind of just... Is being attacked. ...block them? <laughs> we're gonna find out. These guys are on guard, so we should be fine there. We have the tower contributing to this fight. I don't think this guy's going to duel me. I'm already wavering here. No, 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 no. No waver. I'm a little worried about these guys getting in, though. And this is Zhou Yu fighting alone. Zhou Yu definitely should not be fighting alone. We have to get in here with uh, good old Sinsa. Our towers are shooting. That's good news. The Phoenix rises. The Phoenix rises in your face. <laughs> I've I have noticed the uh, the whole routing change, which is uh, units that have routed already are more likely to shatter. I think. Are less likely to route again, recover again. The point is that enemies that run are more likely to stay running. I think that is coming into play here. I believe so, anyway. Clever use of archeries here. It is also worth mentioning that these mercenary Axe people are very good. Yeah, he doesn't want to do it. Fine. I'll just kill you myself. That's fine with me. I'm trying to get Zhou Yu to tie up these archers, but not get poked to death. That is an undesirable side effect. What cowards! And remember, archeries. Archers are far more powerful against shock cav these days, including ours. So it's important to keep that in mind. Our tower is still working, which is good. Nothing but good news for us. Since uh, is trying his hardest. 
Please stop getting caught by spears. That's not what I need right now. Joe Yu is continuing to do work. I'm actually going to bring him in here so that I can smash more often. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Our warriors run! Craven dogs! Eh, don't worry about it. I'm not that concerned, so you shouldn't be either. You need to come back, though. Do I have any other cav? What the heck is this? Oh. Oh, it's like a little tiny bush that was on fire and suffocating my units. That's fair. I'm always afraid of burning bushes. I don't know why I was just reminded of the... Uh, the biblical scene of Moses talking head. to a burning bush, but no, 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 no. You for this insult. I won't be deceived. <laughs> I've never taken that Our many mushrooms. Actually, I've never had any mushrooms. I've heard they're really good for cluster headaches. Ready. Can't confirm, though. Heat, hey, we did it. Now, because this is the army garrisoning, the army and the garrison of Junior, which we're going to try and take. I'm going to clear what I can in the snow. Joy. And there is our close victory. We were able to kill quite a bit, actually. Although, fun fact, they had a tower deployed, and I sent my shock cav near it, and it uh, killed them. World. Feels bad. Oh, this bug. And it takes only the Cunning it's like one of the of least the harmless least harmful bugs in the game but it still happens all the time of the empire. I took the replenishment there because I need it Taishi Se is coming back for his fishing port it's fair it's fair he can have it hopefully I can take Jian Yer before that though Sounds has declared war on Yang Feng there is some succession going on the legacy of Wu at the start of your turn have a rank 4 strategist who is 18 to 13 years old that would be Zhou Yu Star Vision has Sun Cell rank 6 or higher. To action. We're just going to go ahead and build in Shot one. Fury. Go ahead and build Attack. one thing. Pick up Bloody Fury. This is enabled if winning melee combat and engaged in melee. Okay. I go Berserk. That's fine. That seems like a very Sun Cell thing to do. Zhou Yu is going to grab Resourcefulness for Flaming Shot. Then we want ripples of perspective for spotting. Mm. But we want judgment. That's what we really want. And then we're going to head over to Wisdom of the Rival. I can actually share expertise with someone. Do I want to? Maybe. Just ten turns away from punishment. Just ten. Let's see if we can make some deals with anyone. We are untrustworthy. Our treachery is slowly disappearing. Who Mao would like trade? I don't know who you are. Let's take a look at this slightly closer. Trading with Kong Rong is always a good idea. Although he is the least at the moment. But Kong Rong loves trade deals. Wounds are healed. By wise words. Fair. I wonder... <laughs> Hold on. Where is Sun Ren? Hold on. I'm getting it. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Hold on. Distraction. Don't be distracted. Uh, actually, trading with Xi Zhi is really Wait. smart. Since I could marry Xi Zhi Jin. Who else would we want to marry that's a female? We can't marry Zheng Zhang because of subcultures. She's a bandit. We are a warlord. What would you even want for this? The game wants me to give him 1,500 gold. I don't think it's that worth it. I'm just going to trade with Kang Rong because that'll make him happier. Yeah, that works. Actually, can I bump some money off of you, bro? 
Let us do this. No, I want to request. Hello? Request. There we go. Wow. He does not like that at all. Minus six. Kong Rong is mad at me. Okay, maybe I should not do anything until I'm less treacherous, you know? That seems like a good idea. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> oh, yes. I wanted to see where Sun Ran was. She is six. So Ma Chao, if, if he sticks around that long, will be 31. Is that even worth it? I don't know. Let's think about it, shall we? Now, in in the Lu Bu campaign, we actually grabbed Ma Chao in the same way. We married Ma Chao to Lu Bu's daughter, Lu Ji. And I kind of want to repeat it because Ma Chao is awesome and synergizes incredibly well with Sun Sa. Can I win this? Probably not. I'm still going to fight it, though. The only concern here is that Tai Shi Se is at full health. But the rest of his units could probably just break to my towers. Which is a hilarious thought. But like, just surround him with the captain and poke him to death? Would that even be possible? I don't know. We're going to find out together. I'm probably going to have to end this. They're all coming down mid. Yes, run it down mid. Do it. I dare you. Uh, there's literally no point in deploying this. Okay. Run it down mid. Wait, he's not running it down mid. Is he going around? What are you doing, Tashi, sir? So basically, we need him to not... not burn down our towers and just eat them and then we'll have a good old time a grand old time I have no idea what he's doing not even a little bit of an idea you going to this one put caltrops here he's trying to be cute oh he's going to shoot down the towers he's going to do that thing I said that, he, that I didn't want him to do Look at the enemy run. I mean, you didn't get to shoot down these towers. The enemy warriors are running. Ha. ha! I'm not even sure what broke them there. But I just need these two to surround Taishisa. It's literally all I need. He's going for these towers. Oh, that's really bad. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, he's not. Is he going for the city? I am very confused. Look at the enemy run. I mean, he's breaking. That's what he's doing. Just poke Taishi so to death, and we win. No, you get out of here. I need you to shoot some stuff. If I can break these two, will he suffer from army losses? I mean, if anyone can win this, it's going to be a vanguard, right? But his weapon sucks. He still has the noble... S I think he still has the noble sword. So I'm going to try and shoot these with my archers. And uh, hope that we win. Honestly. I think Taishi says... Breaking. Yeah, now he's going to go what through the gate. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Can I kill him? No, he has way too much HP. Alright. Heroic victory! Just like that. Okay. Okay. 
69. Nice. Authority has been restored. And that, my friends, them. is why you never give up. Never give in. Hold the line. Keep the faith. Something, Strike something. Quickly. I had a ton of notifications, and that kind of Cunning concerns me. Over brute force. Let's grab the city. This there is something... Lubu formed a coalition with Liu Chong. Huh. Vassal commanding Zerong. Yuan Shu liberated Wu Jing. Zhang Ba has been destroyed. Liu Chang requested Liu Bu join their war against Yuan Shu. Yes, fight him. The Emperor escapes. Hmm. Yongfeng has vassalized the Han Empire. Mission success. We have impressed the two Zhang brothers. Oh dear. Capture or have at the start of your turn the Jian Yue capital. Income from industry, we need this. So, we need to capture the copper mine and the salt mine. And then we turn Jian Yue into our capital, which it already is, and make it this powerhouse of an industry. It was ridiculous. In my Kong Rong campaign, I think Jian Yue got up to like six grand income. It was nuts. Anyway. <laughs> the end of Wang Lang. Capture Kuai Ji. And if alive, Yu Fan joins your court. I know that name, but I don't know how. Zhang Zhao has joined our court. Let's take a look real quick. The Zhang brothers are with us. Now, I... We have so many strategists. I normally don't like having an army with two strategists in it because they are, as I like to refer to them, non-combat generals. But just as the Chiang sisters have a bonus for being in the same army, the Zhang brothers have a bonus for being in the same army. I don't remember what it is, but I know it exists. So I might try and build an army for the first time ever with double strategists. Why would you build commerce here? Game. I want to destroy this magistrate, but I need the money from it. Oh, that feels bad. All right, well... Let's put someone to work, shall we? Because this is currently all commerce. It will transition to industry. Give it time. But until then, we'll let Lu Fan generate additional commerce income. All of these notifications. I still haven't recognized anyone that we want. We are about to run out of reckless luck. Well, not run out, but make it go down from divine favor. So, I think what we want for our... To ideally go after this... We want to crush all of Jian Yue. That will give us two per turn. Stacked with the, the pressing your luck we presently have, that'll be seven. We'll have that for 17 more turns, and then we can kind of turn our attention on to... I'm actually going to go for Kwai Ji, I think. I think Kwai Ji's the play. Again, I'm still researching some... Ooh, for Po Yang, we get two available assignments. I'm still researching some history because there's a lot here. There actually isn't that much for Sun Tzu, because again, he died kind of young. Poor fella. But for the rest of Wu, there is a bit. I don't know if I'm going to tell the whole story. Maybe I'll just tell Sun Tzu's story. Because there's a lot that I could. I'm not sure. But yeah. Kuai Ji. It's on the list. Do I upgrade this? Am I that bold? Kind of that bold. In two turns, you're going to have a nasty garrison. So yeah. We have four turns left before something goes horribly wrong. How long do we have on this? 23. Slowly going down. Do we think Liu Bei will trust us? He currently likes us. Liu Bei. My friend. <laughs> do we get Miju back? Our dependent... Oh, he's not that interested. Miju, if you didn't know, uh, is a dependable administrator. He's a great guy. And he held the line for us. When many others would have fallen. We need to keep that. Will you be able to give me money? Liu Bei is often my bank. But I don't think I'm going to be... I mean... I'm... Uh, we need that. I don't want that. You want to fish, bro? 
Here, I have a fish. We need something to bolster our current situation, we'll say. I could give away my mother, but that sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Lady Wu, also known as the State Mother, is quite an important character, so I'm not going to give her away. I was jesting. Twas merely a jest, good friend. Oh yeah, this is going to help. Let's bolster our bank, shall we? Liu Bei, I'm glad I can always count on you. You know, no matter what, if I lower this, will you like me more? That's actually very important. No, okay. 865, 200 per turn. Thank you, Liu Bei. Yeah, whatever you said. So this is held by two different people. I'm not actually sure which is more important to grab first. The salt mine or the copper mine? The copper mine, right? Kong Rong would like a lot of things for non-aggression pact. I do want an non-aggression pact with you, Kong Rong. I want to be your friend. Hear me out. <laughs> but uh, not yet. I'm not paying you for it. If anything, you're going to be paying me for it. But we do have to let this untrustworthy status go away. Our treachery needs to come down to normal. Gong Sun Du has declared war on Lubu. Lubu is going to war with the world. Unsurprising, honestly. I know I said... Advancing. Ooh. We're missing three cavalry units. So there's three front lines and one cav. Two cav. I can take this. I can take this all day. All day. I hope. Find out. We still have our missions from our council, but I need to upgrade this. Which is going to require a lot of money. Especially since I'm pretty sure... Oh. Lubu would like... Kong Rong would like this. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I should have seen if I could get some money out of him, but... Eh. Here we go. The last battle of the day, resulting in a valiant defeat. Be Poppycock. And be thoughtful. They will not stand a chance. No, they won't show you. They won't. Well, they probably won't. Come, my sworn companion. We ride to battle. They're sworn companions. I am here to fight you, not listen. I actually had an idea for the thumbnail. Now, my relationship with thumbnails is uh, very 50-50. Sometimes I love making them, and sometimes I absolutely hate making them. But uh, this one, I think, is kind of tame. Very tame. <laughs> but uh, my idea was to just keep adding on characters as I unlocked them. But because I kind of use a bizarre system that's not very good, I decided against that. And because I, I was like, how many characters do you think I can fit on this thumbnail before it just becomes completely incomprehensible? Because we're trying to get a lot of characters. The Zhang brothers, obviously we have Sinsa and Zhou Yu. But then the Zhang brothers who we've already gotten. The Qian sisters who I have no idea how to get, reliably. Liu Fan, Liu Meng. Actually, I think neither of them have unique portraits. Uh, we always have Lady Wu who doesn't have a unique portrait, which is a damn shame. Sinchuan, Sinren. And there are more. Yu Fan also doesn't have a unique portrait, I don't think. Maybe he does. I don't think so, though. A comrade is being attacked. Wow, they act. Oh, they made it in and immediately broke. Wow. Sucks to suck, bro. Ooh, he's already breaking. Oh, it's him and the archers that are breaking it. I did that on my own units. Feels bad. Please shoot them down. China will revel in your death. It saddens me to hear you act so crudely. Our comrade is under attack. Boy, my chancellor is not crude. Oof, he's taking a lot of damage though. Chancellor, run. This guy has a terrible weapon. Why is he taking so much damage?
Okay, now you can help contribute to this fight. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Since I keep fighting. The enemy unit flees. What coward? Wait, why am I enraged? Oh, right, the battle thingy. The blood fury. It's like, wait a minute. Something isn't right here. Oi. It's my tower. You can't take it. My archers, or my cavalry broke? It should be fine. Well, my cavalry shattered more accurately. It should still be fine. The enemy unit flees. What coward? I hope. All right, back. come back, Sensa. I need you back here. The vanguard broke my front units a lot faster than I thought he would. So now we have to rely on our archers. We should be fine, though. There's no pokey boys. So we just shut down their archers, and then we kill them. Wait, Sensa, let me press your button. Wait, Sensa. Our men are uncontrollable with rage. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me press my button. And you stop shooting that. Sensa. Oi. Please. Press the button. Press button. Yes, smash. We have crossfire fire arrows. Look, the enemy run. Craven. This is so close. It's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. These guys have recovered. Okay, shoot that. They're back for more. Sinsa is enraged again. Sinsa, please stop. I need you focusing. Focus. Did I press it? I can't actually tell. A blood fury has overtaken the men. No, it's overtaken Sinsa. There's a big difference. Wait, why is everything rallying all of a sudden? No, you're not supposed to rally. You're supposed to fight. Yes, that's it. Break them. Yes, I can feel your anger. It gives you clarity. One step closer to victory! The only part of that I remember is that it gives you focus. <laughs> and something, something, you are wise, Anakin. Um, I'm a little less confident about this now. Honestly. So I'm going to try and break these with my two generals and then fight it again. There is our close victory. Okay, so there's something about this talent that's driving me insane. When Winston says chasing people down, you know, when I'm cleaning things up at the end, he'll go enraged and then stop chasing. And so I have to give him the order we again. Them. And that's kind of infuriating. I could see it if people don't want to take this talent. Hold on, what? Zugong has three undiscovered traits? I've never seen that before in my life. But I'm gonna take this. They have nothing to contribute to China. Perceptive, trustworthy, and beautiful. I'll release you. Release them! We have no use for them. He had a, a silver thing. It's good for me. Oh dear. Yambai declared war. More war. <laughs> Gao Gan ha is dead. Has a new successor, and then she was destroyed. Feels bad. More like the wind.
Zhou Yu was not satisfied. Zhu Gang was their faction leader. I took his thing and killed him. Now Liu Yanan is the leader. Yuantan has requested autonomy, and the Emperor has found a protector. And the Sao have answered the call. Oh, dear. Sound Sao is now the regent. Fight Night of Battles, because you always should, unless you're trying to drag something in. A coherent strategy. Just because it helps with your delegation. The legacy of Wu. We now Destroy only need the Jianye Salt Mine. Prepare this. And... I need to upgrade this city. Really bad. <laughs> really bad. But that is where we are going to call it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Next time, episode two, as always, is going to be a history lesson. Probably just about Sun Tzu, But I'm learning about more and more people in the grand scheme of Wu. And perhaps we'll drop some knowledge about them as I discover them and as I learn about them. Okay, bye-bye.